been incredibly fascinating day. Here it is, third trade on S&P this morning. First target is here, moving my stop to break even. Know the levels, know when to enjoy the rally, and know when to stay out. Let's recap, three, late, three trades today, 5, 8, 13 range charts only. I believe in Fibonacci numbers. I believe that nothing in this world is random, not even price. I am witnessing confirmation of that daily in trading. That's why I love trading so much. The best video game in town. Can you play by the rules? Here we are, first target on S&P is reached. For all the reasons we discussed in Alpha Wave Traders Club, I simply respect the levels and I simply take entry when at least two rules are met. So here we are, let's recap what's been happening on S&P. S&P overnight reached decision point one, the end of the minor trend, and staged quite a bit of a pullback. We witnessed the struggle at this level on a couple of trades this morning. This level re remains the most critical level in the market structure. What has price had done after pullback? It collapsed all the way to decision point two. Correct? This is where price danced for four hours. This is exactly the same formula you're witnessing on eight range chart. This is my guiding light. This is my trade levels. Know where to take profits off the table. Based on the trade structure, decision point two is the least important level in the market structure. But I respect what price is telling me highly every single trade i had taken today i respected the reaction to the upside at decision point one on five range it correlated with a danger zone level on 13 range it was a brick wall five range reached one and a half point in profit 13 range no 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 struggled for hour and a half and here it is eight range at its best Two points later, as expected, price is ready for a pullback. All you have to do, remove all the fluffy delayed indicators and you'll be amazed how much you can see. Let's recap what's been happening on oil. Oil, ouch, first negative trade this week. Why in the world? Because as we discussed in Alpha Wave Traders Club, very powerful rally set up pre-market. If you're playing by the rules, you enjoyed fantastic rally. By the time we came to the market, first bullish wave was overextended. I had taken first negative trade this week because I said super duper corrective trade. I cannot acquire long trade in the middle or the end of the trend. I can only do what prices tell me. And currently, third hour in a row, oil is dancing in fluffy, corrective fluff. Oil is untouchable. Three trades on S&P and one trade on oil. So there we go. No one price stuck in correction. There was nothing here on oil I could touch. That simple. Price for entry and Fibonacci for exit. You can trade any instrument on any platform. But only you know the answer. Can you play by the rules? I don't think I'll be taking any other trades. I'm setting up massive other time frames on S and P. But the key in Alpha Wave Trader method three trades are max. So why in the world would you want to start breaking the rules? Those who know Alpha Wave Trader method, you have multiple three other opportunities on S and P if it applies to your account size, which is remains the most critical component of prudent and conservative trader. You have to identify your risks. You have to manage them accordingly. You have to remember that psychological comfort is a key in trading. Once you become uncomfortable, once your risks are a bit too much, stay out, walk away. S&P is the most liquid instrument in the markets. S&P is very, very well-behaved soldier. Liquidity is the key. Let's take a look while we're babysitting this trade that goes on and on and on. Let's take a look on the volume. On oil, 8 range, I have only 653 contracts. 
On S&P, currently, I have 25,000 contracts. That's a reminder of the importance of knowing what you are trading. Billions of dollars traded here. Very few contracts traded here. If you're trading oil, it means you're already experienced and knowledgeable trader. And that's what separates knowledgeable trader from the one who applies investment-like mentality, does not work in trading. If you start with S&P and if you play by the rules, each and every month you can add a lot. Today you start with one, by the end of the year you trade 10, by the end of three years you trade 30, 40. That's not something you can do with oil. Oil, first time in many weeks, let's recap, finding pretty powerful support. Why in the world did I want to bring up oil? Formula remains the same. Weekly chart reached decision point two, just like my range chart sitting very, very pretty at decision point two. Formula remains the same. Trading is magic if you play by the rules. So once again, you're witnessing the very, very critical level being played out. You're witnessing the importance of moving the stop to break even. I spelled out, I expect a pullback. All I need is price to tell me when this will happen. So let's recap. Why in the world are we seeing such a powerful selling pressure on S&P? Because daily chart reached the exhaustion level. So why in the world am I taking long? Have I gone mad? Price is in a corrective structure. Wave two. I know better. I trade range charts in the trading room. If you're trading daily, you are still short. You have to identify what time frame is appropriate for you. If you are taking short on oil, you are still short. It's only a temporary corrective wave two. I expect oil to head for the south, south, south. Know your levels? All I need is price. All the levels to the upside were drawn two years ago and showed me where the exhaustion of this bullish trend will be. And this was the short entry. We're still short on oil in Alpha Wave Traders Club formula is identical to what you see on range chart. So there we go. That's all there is. So let's recap. First time ever, the good thing that's happening on oil is most powerful reversal we've seen in months and in weeks. But that is very important to recognize. Exact same level as S&P 8 range. So there we go, guys. I'm closing the room. I'm off to teach. This is very, very classic structure. The dance is on. So there we go. Another fascinating day. More trades on S&Ps and oil because very powerful rally staged on oil pre-market. Based on the current structure, I expect this rally on S&P to continue. But currently on my 8th range, I moved my stop to break even because I know that pullback is imminent. So have a fantastic day, everybody. We'll review this trade tomorrow. If you know where these levels are, you know where to take profits of the table. And that's the most essential component of conservative trader. Ciao, kapao. See you tomorrow, 9.30.